Welcome to Table Talk. I'm Joe Beretta. <laughs> and I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Matt Lieberman. <laughs> you know how it works. Questions from you via Reddit and Twitter. Let's do it. <laughs> boom, boom, bang, ba do. I like this inf- efficient Joe we've got here. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna last. This I had some like, of that pizza too. Yeah. He's actually coming down from his nugget. Uh, Man, this is like directed, it's literally at Steve Zaragoza. Not from at Steve Zaragoza, it's from Two. at Penrose1980. To Steve. To Steve. Zaragoza to at Steve Zaragoza. When was the most inappropriate time you farted in public? He should be on this. He's he was supposed to be on this table. Talk. Wait, he's told that story though. He's told the times he's crapped his pants, but what about No, me? when he farted with all those puppeteers oh, when yeah. he was working on that yeah. WB thing. Yeah, a bunch mm-hmm. of puppeteers. He had a bunch of puppeteers by his butt because he yeah. was interacting with puppets and he farted right in all their faces. Mm-hmm. In fact, that was also animated. Mm-hmm. It was a big up. deal story. It was very memorable. What about you guys? Click most, the annotation. Most inappropriate fart stories. I can't even think of one. Um, Matt, go, quick. <laughs> okay, I mean, wait, in public or most inappropriate fart story? I guess, whichever in one In front of anyone. In front of, okay. All right, in settle in. in. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, so I was a sophomore in college and I was on a date uh, with a girl who turned out to be the niece of a very famous film director. Oh. Um, I found out later on. Uh, I am lactose intolerant. I should not eat cheese. It is not smart for me. But at the time- But it's so delicious. It is, is and at the time I was very into pizza. Uh, And I took this girl to California Pizza Kitchen. I had a pepperoni and pineapple pizza. She introduced me to the concept and I've never looked back. That sounds like Fart City. Fruit doesn't belong on pizza. Right. Yes, it does, pineapple on pizza. Yes, it does, pineapple on pizza is amazing. It cuts through the richness of the cheese and the heat of the pepperoni. I'm Italian and I'm saying that pineapple on pizza is amazing. She's Italian, she's saying pineapple on pizza is amazing. I'm from the East Coast. Let me get on with the story. Okay, so I bring her back to my room and things escalate quickly. I'm talking good. You're stuff. stabbing her. You're yeah. removing her skin. Yeah, I'm hanging it up to you're dry. You're making a lampshade in about mm-hmm. two hours. I'm sure. making sausage from her innards. No. Uh, <laughs> kissing the removal of clothes. And uh, she she goes down on this Lieberman. Uh, and my 19 year old self is very excited about this. Because um, this Lieberman was there, 25 year old Lieberman was there, 19 year old Lieberman was watching, 19 year old Lieberman was really at all. excited. <laughs> yeah, watching his older self get blown by a stranger. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, whoa! And uh, in any case, I start to feel something bubble deep. No. Within me. This is and Joe, you can attest, when you're in that situation, you're very relaxed. Yeah. Joe's never done that ever. You've never had he your- He can't, he can't attest. You, you've never this had is your mall rat. This is a, the mall rat story. What? You're Brody on mall rats I'm right not now. Brody on mall Did you rats? steal this story from a movie? No, this actually <laughs> happened to me. Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, I I've not seen mall rats since I was like 16. So was farted. Kevin Smith the director? Is this Kevin Smith's Now no one's gonna believe <laughs> my story, no, even though it's the truth. So you farted in this poor I girl's face. I farted in this girl's face oh, while no. she was going down on me. Oh, because my, no. like, I was tilted. I was tilted, so it was angled perfectly to reflect off of the bed. If you Did imagine you a bed apologize? is a gas mirror. Uh, There's so many did questions. Did she stop? No, that's... She stopped and she said, what was that? <laughs> and I said, Wait, are you truthful? Uh, this is where I learned you should always be truthful because I said no. I said, I said, I said, what was, what was what? <laughs> and it was so obvious what had happened. Wow. Um, oh, what, and what was butt? Yeah. What, what was butt? Um, oh, and uh, no. she was, she was like, Did she get up and leave? No. She was like, Come on. I'm like, All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I farted. And she was like, <laughs> Okay. So you're gonna put your pants on. We're not doing that again. I'm like, Cool. Okay. That's the best. <laughs> Scenario that then you happened. stabbed her, and then you started and, removing her and skin. And the sausage. <laughs> no, she I, like she hung out. She uh, hung out. She didn't leave. We made out cool. for a while, but things that put a capper. It was that was oh, the end. Oh, Wait, did you go on a date after that? We actually did. Oh, well, there you go. Did yeah. You win. I think you won in that situation. We actually did. She was she was a know it all. <laughs> I'm not. I'm well, not, you tooted I'm, in her face. I know, so I'm but I'm not. Sure. A, but like, I'd be more sorry if she wasn't a know it all. <laughs> She was, wow. and this is coming from King Know It All. Lieberman's he was ruthless. was insufferable. Ladies, he's a ruthless one. I'm sorry, I He'll do. fart on your face and I'm then not... talk shit on you six years later. <laughs> okay, I can see. You dropped shit and now you're talking shit. <laughs> I can see where I might be in the wrong here. It's not lost on me, but it makes for a better story if I tell you the truth. Oh, man. 
That's man. That that takes. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. It's she, a low point. But she hung out bad. with you later, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. She hung Here, out with wait. Later. If we bleep it, do you want to know who yeah. she's related to? She's no way. Yeah. Whoa. Showed me a that's picture bizarre. of him and her mom, and they bizarre. look exactly alike. Whoa. Bizarre. Whoa. Bizarre. You bleeped out the name. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate uh, fart stories. I don't, I can't think I of can, I can, I can go on this. Um, so this is like an inappropriate situation in general. And this is, uh, well, I used to work conventions mm -hmm. for a bunch of different convention circuits. I'm like being hesitant to give out too many details because I feel like this is going to get me in trouble somehow. And uh, what, and my story didn't just get me probably in trouble? Oh, we beat the heck out of well, it. Oh, but, with the girl though. Yeah. yeah. But I'm about to reveal what lots of models do at oh. conventions. <laughs> I don't Let's wanna... do it. Yeah, so Everyone loves models. we're at conventions for years. Mm -hmm. Um, and like trade show modeling, which is essentially spokes modeling more than like, you know, it's not print or runway, it's it's spokesperson. So you have to like know about the product and answer questions and get up on stage with the little microphones mm -hmm. and like give presentations and stuff. But you're there all day and because you're on the road, like you're always going out to eat at night. So like you're not eating things that settle well with you, like not super healthy and you're usually drinking. So when you're ear shift the whole next day, like inevitably there's going to be some indigestion. And um, there was one girl I work with. I don't know if this is an actual term or if she coined it. It's probably an actual term. But she used to always say that when that would happen, when you'd feel like yeah. you need to fart, you just crop dust it. And so you make sure where mm. you're standing in oh, the booth. So every time a girl is and moving in the so booth. So every time you move, you just. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to lie, everybody did it. Oh, wow. Everybody did it. But so you're also at a convention where you can blame it on almost anybody. Totally. Yeah. And you know who they don't think it is? The hot girl in the business suit. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's not who they think it is. They turn to the really... fat bald guy and they're like, him. Yeah, everybody ugly, makes fun of like con food. funk and like it's uh -huh. it's hilarious to me when I see like the girls who work conventions being like, Oh, con funk and I'm like, mm -hmm. You do it too. See that you are you... probably more responsible for con funk than the con goers because you spend longer in there. See that would drive me nuts because as a kid, because I was fat, everyone thought that I was the fat you were I the was guy. the fart the guy. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> this model can handle all the latest technology. It's sleek. It's sexy. <laughs> yeah. 100% yeah. Portable. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I need to collect 25 leads before the end of my shift. So I'm can also I have your name, address, and phone number? Hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So next time you next time you go to a convention, beware. Whether you are at home or on the go. <laughs> on the mm -hmm. boat or at the office. Beware all girls at conventions walking in circles or pacing. No, it would never be in circles. It would be like, oh, I feel one coming. You know, I'm just going to go check that the lights are off on the car over on that side of the booth. And you just clear. So that you leave a class. You just clear and go far to the other You realize side. there are fart fetishists that now are going to follow models around trade shows. <laughs> and they're always... <sighs> That was a fart fetishist smelling a fart and getting fart. aroused by it. Wow. Okay. Joe? Too bad Joe, you, do you didn't have, have a, fart? a fart fetish that you met in college, right? <laughs> right? That would have really helped me out. I have nothing that comes to mind, so I'm going to leave think, everybody I think she might have... <laughs> mm. Anyway. Maybe she attends these conventions now. No, Maybe she would have changed choked. her. Guys, Marmar Binks on Reddit asks, which South Park character are you? Oh, uh, oh Butters. Uh, you butters? You really think you're butters? I do. Maybe yeah. you kind of have a butter-ish mentality. Oh, I'm like hopelessly idealistic and about everything, and I th assume the best in people, and then my friends usually make fun of me for it. Mm -hmm. I see it. I mean, I'm Kyle. It's not a fun <laughs> question for me because it's just sort of like not only am I like Jewish, not only am I Jewish, I am kind of like I have like a sense of justice, and I do am kind of a buzzkill sometimes. So I'm very, very Kyle. Yeah. I I hate that I want to be Randy Marsh. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. I know I'm not, but man, that character makes me so happy. <laughs> He's, He's got to be the best character on the whole show. He is. Okay. down. He makes me laugh so hard. Mm -hmm. He's great. Um, I'd also, I'd like to be it's Wendy. It's because he's the most flawed. Wendy's great. Yeah. Wendy? She's great? I like Wendy. What is so great about Wendy? Wendy? Great. She's got some chutzpah when she needs to. Like, just recently oh, we wait, saw the- Wait, you say that right? <laughs> hey, not no, so I'm sure I didn't. 
Chutzpah. I said Chutzpah. Chutzpah. Nope. Chutzpah. You said Chutzpah. I think you said Hillsboro. <laughs> Yeah. She's like got some Hillsborough, Hillsborough, Massachusetts. Well, there you go. She's so to all the commenters who always make comments about how I'm a, a, yeah. a Jewish princess, there right. I called it Hoodspo. Right. And also, <laughs> for anybody who heard me say that Randy Marsh is the most flawed, I know that Car Eric Cartman is a far worse character, but yeah. Randy but yeah, but yeah. Randy Marsh I think is somebody who's he's a lovable flaw. He's a lovable he's flaw. Trying. He's trying to yeah. be better. Yeah. That's why I say it. <laughs> he's so yeah. damn funny. Uh I guys, help me. Who am I? I I don't know. I don't know. Am I Stan? I just yeah. kind of like safe white bread Stan. I feel like you're a Stan who wants to be Randy. Stan's you're the Stan also who will become kind of Randy. Leader. I'll be. I will become an old dumb dad someday. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Today. You, yeah. I feel. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like you still have a sense. The sense of wonder that Randy Marsh has. Okay. <laughs> when he finds out <laughs> something like what. what? what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the poop episode, the number two episode, is one of the greatest things ever. Oh, the courage? The, the one where it's the number, number two, two with Bono. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It weighs something, something Couric. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. That There's so, so many. A Chili Con Carnival is my favorite yeah, South Park it's a great episode one. of all time because Scott it, it makes me laugh parents. so hard that I cry mm -hmm. um, as, as, with the big reveal at the end. And Carmen's one of the most evil <laughs> bastards in television history. <laughs> yeah, he might be the most evil. Bastard. Does he have a redeeming quality at the end of the day? I don't, I don't know. know if he does. I don't think he does. Um, but it's he doesn't so like darn mom, funny. Like no, he's wholly he selfish. Does. Yeah, that episode is fantastic. And also, have you ever seen the the Disney um, Jonas Brothers? Oh episode? yeah, the Mickey Mouse yeah. one oh, where so the promise funny. rings and the spoon. So funny. Yeah, their so chastity good. rings or whatever they are. Yeah. Oh! That would have been your third. Yeah, that, that was, so, was close. so close. You're so good. Steve at it. got a close one yesterday. You're like Jean Grey. All right. Mm -hmm. Rexasaurus24 on the Reddit wants to know who in the office has the best dance moves. Hashtag table Me. Will likes to think he does. Because Will's a cocky young boy mm -hmm. up and coming trying to phase me out, but he ain't gonna phase these moves out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Those moves are solid gold. You try to bite him, you break all your teeth. Mm -hmm. Don't bite my gold moves. Mm -mm. Don't bite on his tracks, neither. Joe he has, produces tracks. I think Joe has the funniest dance moves. Oh, you stop a go. You ain't ever seen me at the club. I have not ever seen, seen you, you at, at the, the club. club. What is your routine when you go to the club, Joseph? Freaking. Okay, Freaking? so you just enter and you immediately start to freak. Can you show everybody? Mm -hmm. No? Secrets. Okay. Secret, secrets. secrets are What's no your fun. Move secrets at the club? are for everyone. Um, the, my move at the club is. Uh, it's either. It is, too. It's, isn't it's it? that until I don't give a shit anymore. If I'm not. <laughs> then it's. No, if I'm not looking to meet anybody, then I'm just all over the place and I'm just having fun. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be doing whatever. I'm gonna be doing my thing. I'm gonna be doing lots of footwork, of lots of this, leaving. lots of that. Um, a lot of bumping, it used to be, it used to be before I had confidence to just dance however I wanted to dance. I did a lot of dice. <laughs> did you did really do a lot of dice <laughs> for real? A lot of throwing dice <laughs> because it gave awesome. me an excuse to like go down. Like, yeah, I don't know why I thought that that was a thing. Dice was your catalyst That's for level hilarious. changes. On the yeah, when I was like a teenager, it was okay. dice, and now it's just sort of like if I'm looking to meet someone, I probably won't dance until I feel like mm -hmm. I'm like, no, 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 she likes me, and it doesn't really matter and then what you I'm gonna just do. Start throwing dice. No, and then no <laughs> dice. Then I'm just gonna be who I want to be. I'm gonna have a great time. Jax. Because there Rats. is nothing sexier than being secure in who you are. That's why you should throw dice That's whenever true. you want, homie. But dice wasn't no authentic me. Oh, that, was that was me. Fake you. That was me trying, <laughs> trying to be cool. real hard to be yeah, cool. Yeah, which is just stupid. <laughs> don't just, try to be cool. Uh, just be, don't play cool. Be what is cool. Matt doing now? The is he playing? He's playing Monopoly. Oh. Come on, everybody. One more well, roll. I got that park doubles. place. I got that park place. Oh, no. Now he's, now he's doing the sorry dance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, no. He's, he broke out Battleship. Goes yep. straight to jail. He broke out Battleship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that, I always did the white girl club move. Which one's that? The clubs. When you have your drink, like with your little like your little cocktail glass and your little thing, and you uh, go ahead, get it. I don't want to distract you. You got this. Come on, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what no. you just said and how you said it is going to be all these little 15 year old guys bringing tone. Did you realize how you just said that? And how sultry no. you got? What did you say? Come no, on, I man. was focusing you on. You got it. I don't want to distract you. Get it, baby. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Replay that. Go ahead, get it. I don't want to distract you. You got this. Come on, Matt. Oh, that's amazing. 
Wow. Okay, now, now replay that Look. with some like porno berry white music. Go ahead, get it. I don't want to distract you. You got this. Come on, man. Get it. <laughs> so it turns out I get <clears throat> real turned on by like <laughs> physics. By guys trying to accomplish tasks. No. <laughs> Trisha, why don't you tell us the thing you were going to tell us earlier? Oh, about the white girl club. Uh -huh. yeah, tell us about your white girl club moves. Are you? Hmm? I'm gonna pretend that you're trying not to fart. I'm gonna pretend that that's what this is. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the Who's white girl. Say I'm not? The white girl club dance is <laughs> you're holding your drink and like you kind of like move a little and like sip your drink and check it out and like switch your drink to the other hand and swap your hair and look over and switch your drink to this hand and swap your hair this way and you just repeat this. It's this. Wait, are you on the? Are you next to the bar? Are you? No, on you're on the, the dance. You're floor. on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. totally. You're just taking up space. Mm -hmm. Don't you rip out your hair, moving it no, all the time? No, no, no. You're like you're moving with the music, and you're just, yeah, checking, and you're talking to people. But you're really not interested in anybody coming up and, and actually dancing with you. No, you're just checking stuff out. You just scoping the mm -hmm. scene, mm -hmm. and if you see someone that you're interested in, then what do you do? If you see someone you that you're interested in, then the you, you, you discuss it with your friends. Oh. Yeah, and then you promptly do the splits. Hmm. I mean, it impresses every look, man. We'll look out for those girls on the dance floor doing splits. <laughs> doing next split. to Matt playing no, Monopoly. <laughs> we actually used to have, my my girlfriends and I would have a code for each other. Because when you're doing this, and you're like, like say, we're there hanging out as friends. Yeah. And like you and me are like, like a guy, yeah, you're doing that. <laughs> and so a guy comes up behind you, because that's what happens, is like guys will just come up behind you and start like dancing with you. And you're like, I don't know who this is or what they look like. Yeah. And so my friends and I developed a code where this, like on a scale of one to 10, this was a one, this was a 10. And all measures of in between. So like we'd be hanging out, like drinking, doing this. You'd see the dude behind me. Oh, he's a 10. I know he's a 10. I know I can dance with this guy. It's okay. Whoa. But you don't know anything about him other than how he looks. Yeah, but you're in a club. You can't hold conversation anyway. This is why I don't get clubs. They're very loud and dark. They don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, craps. Yeah. Right. Is it my turn? It's my turn. No, yeah. it's your turn. It's your no, turn. I, it's your we turn. already went. All of us went? All of us went. We'll okay, one, then one, one more. more. Then we get out. Here we go. One more roll, one more roll. Um, pushing out that poop on Reddit says, <laughs> what were your favorite mm -hmm. or worst childhood fads when you were growing up? My favorite were Go-Go's figures. Go-Go's figures. Go I don't know Go-Go's figures. I loved Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis were cool. Because it still gave me the feeling that I had a pet, even though I didn't really like animals. Like early, so early Pokemon? It was an yeah. a piece of electronics that I could carry on my on me at all times mm. that I needed to constantly interact with. Yeah. Ninja Turtles, I, I mean, it was a major part of my life. Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. yeah. Still, I mean, that was the only music I listened to the longest Just time. eat it, baby. See, I was just, I was the perfect age when Pokemon came to the United States. Oh, yeah? I was like, yeah, I was like Joe and I missed eight, that boat. I was like eight like years two, old. Three years. I was like eight mm -hmm. years old, maybe, when it like first started hitting, I think. Did you catch them all? Actually, no, I was probably, I was 10. Yeah. It was like 1998. So yeah, I, I caught them all on my Game Boy Pocket. Um, and uh, the, the trading card game is huge. Damn, and uh, Sleepaway Camp, man, all we did was play Game Boy and play the card game. If our parents knew that we they were paying all this money to just sit in the door in the, the shacks and well, sit outside <laughs> oh. and play Game Boy, uh, they would have had a, a fit. Hey, at least you were outside. Yeah, well actually no, they totally fucking knew. They knew by by the time by the time summer two rolled around, they knew what mm -hmm. we did. You going to camp was just fuck time for your parents. Yes. Well it was. And so that they could <laughs> go to London. Now we know. It, hmm. Now poor Hayden's gonna look back on this. I think oh, all she the doesn't need to go I to camp. camp. She's not going to camp. No, we don't do anything nice for. Her. I don't like my kids. Okay, well. Okay, well. Uh, I, used to, I hope you're watching this right now, twelve-year-old Hayden. <laughs> I used to go to theater camp in the summers. That was lovely. See, I would do theater. Uh -huh. I would do theater and and all the stuff. But that Pokemon trading card game, I had the Japanese cards and everything. Like you couldn't use them, but okay. it was cool to have because mm -hmm. they weren't out yet. You were in it. I was in it, and. I used to convince people like an a-hole, even though I didn't realize what I was doing, I would convince people that first edition didn't mean anything on the cards. <laughs> Why? Um, because I didn't so think it did mean anything. Cards. No, I actually didn't think it meant anything. <laughs> no, 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 that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't just mean it anything, me. just, no, but to like to trade it to other people too. No, it doesn't mean anything. It's just oh, stupid. No. Yeah. Um, I ruined a lot Matt of people's Matt is now apologizing for his prior error. To all of the students of South Mountain Elementary School. This is, uh, this is really hard to say, but um, I ruined Pokemon cards for so many of you. And um, 
to all those cards out there that now belong in other strange homes and strange hands and landfills and wherever they went. I'm sorry. So, guys at home, what did you ruin for your childhood friends? Let yeah. us know in the comments. How were you the childhood below. dick? <laughs> what were you a jerk about? Um, if you want to join in on future Table Talks, you can do that on Twitter uh, using the hashtag Table Talk or on reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Joe Beretta. And I messed up. Yeah, you did, big time. Get it, Joe. Calling out that girl get for it. farting in her face.